Hello, welcome to this World Plan Day talk. I'm Victor Fernando de Alba, and today I'm going to show you how to declare a theme add-on in Volto 16. We will start the demo by creating a new Volto project. This Volto project will be created using the standard generator. For installing the generator, you need to run this command. Once you run this command, which we, don't, we won't do it now because it takes a while, uh, it will install the generator and the dependencies, which is human, in your system. Once it's done, you need to run the uh, yo, the human command, so that it will install the scaffolding for your uh, new Volto project. So let's uh, build it, and you'll see that it will uh, be quite quick, and it will create uh, our um, Volto project inside uh, the my Volto app true folder. Once in there, we will see that we have the scaffold ready for being used. We will do another, yet another thing. We need an add-on that will be the base for our theme. So we will also call the, uh, the generator for create another add-on. So it's this command that you can see here. This command has to be run inside your uh, project and will create the add-on and configure the project to use this add-on. So we will do so and the new add-on will be ready to be used. Once this is done, you have to run yet another command, which will install the add-on that we just created into the project and will run yarn inside the project to make the add-on available. This command is make install. Oh, sorry. It's make, make install. And it will uh, call Mrs. Developer and will run yarn inside to be able to uh, use the add-on, the recently created add-on in your uh, in your project. Okay, let's stop that. Let's go to another uh, to an, a directory that I have re already ready to be used, and everything is installed in here. And let's continue. So let's take a look at the project that we just created. As you can see, it's a normal project but it has already an add-on in there, the one that we told the generator to create. This add-on is empty, as you can see. And the first thing that we will do is to go to the package JSON and declare a new, th an, a new key. This key, it's called the theme key. So we will do this theme key and we will give it the name of the add-on that we just created. This is important. So our add-on is still a Volto add-on, but it's also a theme. So we have to declare it as an add-on and tell Volto that this add-on is the theme of this project. So we have to declare them as an add-on and as a theme. So Volto will configure them as uh, an add-on as a theme at the same time. Next thing that we have to do is to create a theme inside our uh, empty add-on. You will declare a theme in your add-on by adding a folder inside SRC that is called theme by convention. So we'll create this, this folder that is going to be called theme. And then we're going to put in there a theme config. The same way that we do with the theme folder in your project, which as you can see, it's still here that the generator has created it. But instead of having it in our project, we're going to have it in our add-on, like this. What has to be inside this theme folder differs a little bit of what's inside uh, the project. One, the main thing is that in the side folder, it has to point to the name of your Volto add-on, the one that will be your theme, and the slash theme. So it will point Volto to look for a theme inside this folder. And that will be it. So let's put also some customization inside this theme. For example, we're going to put an extras folder, as we will do when you, we, you create your theme, 
with this custom overrides, which is pointing to the other customless file, and the customless file has this body background color yellow. Let's uh, run it, right? Let's run our project. <clears throat> we'll have our site in there already, but let's reload it. And once reloaded, oh, we see that we have our background yellow. So we can see that our, our theme is working well. Okay, let's back to the code. Let's back to the code and let's take, put it red, for example. And now it's red. Okay. Back to the code, we could now safely remove the theme folder in the project and nothing will happen. Because now Volto is going to look for the theme inside our Volto atom. Okay, after this, you can normally create your theme inside your Volto atom. You can release it. You can use it in any of your projects uh, as if it was a normal Volto add-on. Another way that you have to declare your Volto theme is using the volto.config.js file or using a uh, environment variable that is called theme. This feature is working from Volto 16.20.0 and also in Volto 17 alpha 4 onwards. Along with the new way of declaring themes in Volto, we also introduce a small th new things that we think that it could be very useful when you develop your theme. Let me show you by example. So as you may know already, the way that the theme is loaded in your project is controlled by the theme module in the root of your SRC project here. This theme.js, this theme what it's doing is loading first all the semantic UI less files in this statement, and then it's loading the extras that you can have in your theme as is it doing it in the theme that we just created. <clears throat> However, you are able to modify this theme.js and tailor it to your necessities. What does that mean? You can introduce here whatever entry point to styles that you want. Let's say that you can you want to uh, add an entry point to a declaration of a CSS styling. Since not long ago, Bolt already supports uh, the S, uh, CSS preprocessor uh, syntax, and you can add a CSS to your theme as well if that's what you want. For example, let's let's do it in here. And the first thing that I have to say is that you can customize your theme JS directly in your project, but it's recommended that you customize the theme JS along with your theme in your theme atom. How is this done? So you can do that by creating inside your customization folders folder in your add-on a customization for your uh, theme.js. How this is done? Let's create it in here. So you create a customization folder and you, as you will do in any add-on that you want to customize uh, original uh, modules from Volto itself. And then under a folder called add root, you will add this theme.js that will customize the original here in your theme, uh, sorry, in your uh, project. Let's take a look at it. So we have the original, what we've seen before, and we have this new entry point. This uh, will declare an import for from your Volto uh, add-on here, my Volto theme, in your theme folder and in a uh, file that will be called main SCSS. Okay. We don't have that yet. Let's create it here in theme. Let's create a main.scss file. Here, here we have it. In this case, let's modify also the body and let's, for example, 
make it blue. Okay, that will do it. Then we will go to uh, our code. We will run our Volto again, because remember that the customizations doesn't apply until you restart your server once you have created them. So let's run it and let's take a look at the outcome. And it's blue. Okay, so we uh, we have created a new. Let's let's go back to the code and take a take a look at it. So what we've done is to create a new entry point for our uh, main CSS file, and once in there, it follows the order. So semantic is first, extras is then, and then your uh, CSS file is loaded. So it's the last one, and the last one wins, right? Uh, wins. So the background color is blue. Here you can build your theme using a CSS if you want. So this is an advanced technique, so you can use less and the way of uh, Volto theming works, but you can also have this escape hatch. So you can create your own theme with your own preprocessor and your own way of doing things just by creating another entry point in here. Good. So let's go now to the thing that we've been working along uh, the new feature of the theme declaration, which is SCSS entry points. You can, so the idea is that once you have a theme, you can add things to this theme from the outside and the outside is another add-on. So imagine that you have your add-on that have a feature, for example, a block. And in your block, you want to extend the, the, the existing theme, whatever it is, by adding new SCSS. But it, normally you can do that already by including your uh, styling for your own add-on, then the build will work and then you will have them. But imagine that you want to use variables from your theme in your add-on, or you can also uh, you have an add-on for a project and you don't want to define yet another theme for this project, but instead you want to use your add-on, uh, your theme, theme that you are reusing through your projects. But in every project, you only customize a few small things in your uh, theme, if in that theme that is uh, that is common to all your projects, but you want to customize a color, you're going to customize here and there and small things. And you, until now, you have to create a whole new theme for every project that has these uh, small uh, particular things that differentiate, differentiate it from the, each other. So imagine that you have a way to extend the existing theme from an add-on. And this is how this is about. So we will have, we have two entry points that will collect all the CSS and the styling from your Volto add-ons and they will add it into a custom um, alias. So you can use these alias afterwards in your theme. No worries if uh, you haven't get that yet. Let's let's learn by example, as I said first. So we'll have two entry points here available. One entry point is the add-on theme customizations main. Let's go to our theme, which is in here, and let's add this import. This import will tell Volto that this is our theme and he should grab all the customizations that we'll find in all the extra add-ons that we will have. And Volto has to add all the customizations in this import after this, uh, in, in this point, this is CSS. Let's save it. Let's take a look how it works. We have to do this from another add-on. So let's do that. Let's create another add-on. So we will go to our uh, console, we will stop it, and let's create an add-on uh, using the generator again. 
and it, it will be called Volto My Block Aaron. Let's create it as we created before the theme. Okay, now we have it. Let's see. Uh, let's now run make install, and that will make the new Aaron available to the build. So it will ready to be used. Let's go to the code and let's see. Let's see this Aaron. Uh, let's let's make sure that this add-on is in place. Okay, here we have our add-on in the package JSON. Let's take a look at the add-ons key and is in here. So everything's ready. Let's let's go uh, take a look at our code. Okay, and the code is here. Fine, nice. Okay, how we tell our new add-on that it will include or it should include a styling to the current theme. So we will use a convention for that. So we will use collocation, uh, file collocation. So we will create yet another theme folder in this add-on. But in this case, this theme folder doesn't say that it's going to be a full-blown theme. It's only that here we will place our uh, extensions for the current theme. These extensions, uh, we will use a convention and uh, by placing here inside a main.scss file and then here we will add all the styles that we will want that uh, the alias that we uh, set before in our, in our theme, these alias should contain. Let's take a look. Let's yet again modify our body and our background color and let's say that we want it green now and let's save it okay once in here then and once we have this in place let's run uh volto again yarn start and let's see if uh, our uh background is now green. Let's go, once it's finished, let's go to our uh, Chrome, let's reload, and now it's green. Great, we did it. Amazing. Let's get back to the code to uh, summarize what we did. So we created our new add-on. And in our add-on, we will collocate this file with this exact name in this folder. And we will put all the styling that we want to add to the theme in this add-on. And we can do this how many times we want from any add-on. So we can have a bunch of add-ons with their own styling. And Volto will collect all this styling and from every add-on that we have in the build, and then it will join it, and it will put it available in this add-ons theme customization main alias. So in our theme, you only have to call it. And these, uh, the customizations from all add-ons will come here and will be added to your theme. There is yet another entry point that we have available. This entry point is called, called the add-ons theme customization variables. And its purpose is the same that we've seen before with the styling, but for variables. Let's say that we have some variables defined in our uh, CSS theme and we want to customize it. So we, we, we will have to run or to define these variables that we are defining from other add-ons before our theme is uh, evaluated. So we need to put this entry point at the top of our SCSS file. How will this work? So let's set this up and let's create a, another collocate file in our uh, additional add-on. And in this time it will be called underscore variables variables.scss and in here we will create for example a new variable that will say my fancy var and we will say that it is going to be purple okay 
let's do this and let's copy the name of the variable that we will just create it and let's go to the main file and let's use this variable let's use this variable in here instead of the background color we say that it's my fancy var and let's see the outcome uh, so we will rerun it again because we, we need uh, Volto to be aware of the new variables file and we will take a look at the outcome in the browser Our compilation succeeded let's go to the browser let's reload it and it's not purple why it's not purple let's take a look at our code if you re remember we said that our theme will be extended in our second add-on with this background color green okay and this one takes precedence why because the entry points first is working is is evaluating our variables second all the css that goes with our theme and then the customization that happens in every add-on so what we want now and why it's green green is because our add-on is imposing it so we will remove this and we will save oops sorry we will save and let's see the outcome in the browser and it's purple so to quickly summarize everything you have more documentation about this in the documentation uh, plum documentation site about creating a volto theme add-on as uh, we uh, teach, you can do that by using the key theme in your packet.json, but you can also have another option is that, that is that you can use the Volta config.js in the root of your project, and you can not only uh, declare your theme there, but also your add-ons as it used to be there. You can also do that via a theme variable, just in case that you need uh, to do it through, through an environment variable, maybe because of a Docker environment, something like that. Here is about the theme.config uh, contents that you have to add to your theme. And here you can also uh, find documentation about how to create your own theming escape hatch as we saw in the demo using your main, uh, using for example, a CSS, a CSS file and how to modify a custom theme from an add-on add -on using the collocation of the files underscore main scss and underscore variable scss and that's it thanks for your attention and see you soon